Hi there, I'm Ken Heatley from the Weather Channel. This is another Australian weather update brought to you by Refresh Plus Eye Drops. And we've got a large high pressure cell dominating the country at the moment. You can see that here producing a lot of clear skies but a lot of frosty nights. In fact, Alice Springs in Central Australia got down to minus 5 degrees last night. That's the coldest temperature they've seen in 10 years. So frosty nights continue. Isolated showers in Victoria. That'll be falling as snow above 1100 metres, an indication of how cold it is and some Wet weather is approaching the southwest corner of WA and that will be arriving later on Friday. It's going to be sunny up until that point. The other thing that we're uh, talking about today on the Weather Channel is the longer term outlook. Uh, as many people know, we have come off the back of two very wet years, uh, London New Year's, but it looks like we're now slipping into the other phase, the opposite phase, which is called El Nino, which favours dry conditions through the eastern states. And you can see on this particular chart here, next three months rainfall. So the green areas are showing where we can expect above average rain and the yellow areas and the orange areas in particular are where we may see below average rainfall. So if that does actually come off it means that it may be a little bit drier with some warmer daytime temperatures over the next few months which may persist into spring as well but we're just on a weak phase at the moment. So. When it's, a, it's not a particularly strong indication as yet, uh, but we're flagging dry conditions in the lead up to summer. For more details, you can always tune in to Channel 603, the Weather Channel on Foxtel.